Terraria Reading Type Needs. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome to the 35th episode of Terraria. In the last episode, we were able to go all the way over to the hollow. As you saw, there's a corruption. Hollow, hollow, hollow. And yeah, we dug a lot. And also, I dug way more off camera because I needed to get this episode prepped because I have a confession to make. We have a big problem, guys. The corruption is spreading closer and closer. It's literally beneath our great ship. I knew it like, got rid of the whole desert, but oh my gosh, I didn't know it was going to be this freaking close. So our plan for the day is that we need to get rid of this corruption, but I'm not sure how fast we can do that yet, but I know what we can do to at least give us some upgrades for our weaponry. But, oh yeah, I forgot this is a Pokemon. I don't need to do a team recap. <laughs> so here's what I did off camera. By the way, I named all of my chests, or at least a major, you know, portion of them, just so I could tell which ones are in which. So, off camera, the hollow, I have 238, no, uh, 83 lights, uh, souls of light. And in the corruption, I found, uh, wait, is it this one? Uh, yeah, I have <laughs> 284, uh, souls of night. Now, you might be asking, what's the point? Like, what do I even need with all these? Well, my fine friend, I'm gonna make a few torches just so I can use up that gel. And also, I have this plant, which I'm just, for now, I'm just gonna store in the chest, I think. Yep, I'm just gonna store in there. And here's what we can do. So, if we take these souls of light, we can go over here. Wait, is it this? Uh-oh. Wait, how do, how do we, oh, uh, I guess it's on furnace or potion, whatever this is? Or whatever, we can make a key of night and a key of light for just 15. Gonna make a solid amount of both of these. So here's how this works. Also what I need is a bit of iron and also a bit of wood. We are low on wood, I just realized. And tin, does that count as iron? I think it does. Tungsten, not junkston. We now know. I think tin counts as iron. I'm pretty sure it does. And if it don't, then... Well, I don't know. Let's get some wood, because we're actually on a decently low supply. Uh, oh, there's a bunch right here. Uh, let's just take the whole thing. Why not? Alright, so now... If we go over here, we gotta make a couple chests. Uh, is it near an anvil? Yee. Is it not, really? Does tin not work as plumbing... Or maybe it's tungsten. In fact, hold on. Guide, pleb, talk, speak. Or maybe it's with a... No, tungsten? No, no, wait, this is tin. What am I, what am I doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm just being a pleb. Yeah, to any iron. What counts as any iron? Is I thought tin was iron. Maybe tin is copper. Oh, you know what? It, it's lead. It's lead. Don't I have a bunch of lead, though? I have some, so let's put this tin back and get a nice decent helping of lead. Now let's make some chests over here. Don't know which direction. There we go. Nice and 20. Okay, so I can put the rest of these souls back and I can actually go on with what we were going to do today in this episode. So I'm just gonna get right to the point just so I don't have to waste much time. You guys remember that, you know, in the last episode where I found that hollowed mimic? Basically, that's what we're making. And we're also making a corrupted mimic. And let me be... Note this. They're not easy to kill. They are definitely not easy. But the loot they drop, definitely, I think, at least in my opinion, is more than enough worth it. So let's grab some iron skin. I want to grab a bit of swiftness. And uh, do we have an endurance? Sure, we'll take an endurance. And, yeah, let's move out. Also, be sure, have these prepped. For Even if you don't use any of those weapons, just be prepared for them. Oh, and by the way, how I got the uh, souls, well, it's kind of simple. I just stayed in the hollow and just farmed for them while I just expanded the place. Also, the marble biome pleb just drop them, so that's cool. And also, the same thing with, uh, you know, corruption when I was in a spider place. So, now we can take either a soul of light or a soul of night. We can throw it in the chest 
And poof. Okay, now he drops. And I think I have a strategy for how to take this guy down. Yeah, he's just staying down there. Uh, I'm not sure if he can really jump up here. But just in case. Well, he can kind of fly. But let me just set up my little snazzy itty bitty things. I think he's going to stay like this for a bit. He's going to just be just staying down there. And yeah. It's kind of really simple, but it gets the job done in a fantastic manner. Of course, he's got to be jumping a little bit, but, you know, that's the risk that you got to pay when dealing with some enemy that's as dangerous as that. I don't even think I drunk my potions yet, which is impressive. And he's already going down. Did it. Slime, get out of here. You, I don't need you. <laughs> he was snapped my tippy toes. Is it starting to... Oh, no. I... <sighs> nope. Now, the reason why I'm also doing this below wooden platforms is because if he just jumps towards you, or at least lands on the same platform that you're on, what happens? Well, you know, he just falls right down. <laughs> so it's way, it's really easy. Except if you want, the hardest part is just dealing with the freaking lag spikes, which, going to be honest, it really sucks. Because it just makes everything a lot slower. But, as long as it's killing him, then that's how you know that's working. Or it. I'm not sure if chests can have genders. Well, I know you can actually have chests on a body, but, like, you know, that's different. I'm talking about actual, like, loot chests. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, frick, what I, frick whatever I was saying. It's about to die anyway. Come on. Get close. I can't... Ah, you're gone. So that dropped an illuminant hook. And also drops greater healing potions and greater mana potions. So what this does is that if I, you know, if I put this on... It's faster and it's longer. And it's still... Oh, maybe because I put like a topaz, like, yellow dye on it. So I'm going to treasure this topaz hook. And what I can do is now I'm going to fight the other variant, which is the corrupted mimic chest. So now we just do the same exact formula, which is just, you know, get rid of him. <laughs> which is kind of simple, but, you know, he does a couple jumps. He starts flying towards you. And, uh, oh yeah, I had my ninja gear stuff. Uh, well, not ninja gear, but, like, my titanium set to make me dodge attacks. That's really nice. I guess I don't really need the map open. Oh, and by the way, uh, while we were fighting this thing, I realized, uh, something, uh... Oh, hold on, I just gotta do a sleep again. I realized something too cool that I could do with, uh, you know, key binding, stuff like that. Hey, oh, hey, <laughs> eight. Ah! No! <laughs> I opened my big mouth, I didn't mean it. Uh... Freaking, he had to ruin my moment of joy. Ruin my moment of prosperity. Okay, he's good. I guess it'd be a bit easier if we fought him, you know, up here. Only just because of the fact that we have... We do utilize our yo-yo a lot more. But, you know... Oh my gosh, that's another, that's another thing that I forgot to chest. Or, that's another thing that I forgot to chest. It's another thing I forgot to check. Our little, little star of the day chest. For short term and long term. Which can which has things that can help us. Alright. So let me take care of this mimic this dark little itty bitty mimic first. Which at the very least I'm glad that this bee is doing its work. Okay, fine, you wanna fight up here? Let's fight. Come on, come on. I got yo-yos. Nice. Coward. Yeah, now how about now? Yeah, come on, try and jump. Try and jump. You're pleb. I can take this time to jump around you, pleb. Easy. Nice. And then we have a clinger staff, which basically summons a wall of cursed flames. That's cool for enemies. But I completely forgot we have things at the beginning. So if we go down here, I got some things. I got a lot of things. Uh, soul light, which I forgot to preserve. Oh, yeah. I found a gradient. Oh, yeah. No, no, okay. I found a couple things. So these things summon bosses because they drop from enemies. We got these, which I'm not sure if we can do yet because we're not strong enough. That's why I'm getting this loot. We got a Gradient, which is something that I bought. And also a Magic Lantern, which I bought from a uh, Skeleton Merchant. In fact, I can just put these potions back. We don't need them. We can fight them without it. Uh, bought these things from a, uh, you know, travel Traveling Skeleton Merchant, I guess. And it is good, but there's something we can actually get that's even better than that. But this Magic Lantern, we can actually replace the Shadow Orb with. And look at that! Look at this boy! And if you don't know what it does, basically, if I go to it, it's going to summon the magic lantern that summons nearby treasure, such as these chests and stuff like that. And also just magic dagger, which is pretty cool. 
And, uh, oh yeah, let me put this cleaner staff in here, because it's not the best thing, but you know what? It's the best that we can get for now. But we can get better. Well, also, if we take a normal yo-yo, if we take 10 crystal shards, and if we take 15 souls of light, we can go over to this nice anvil. Is it the anvil? Or is it the flooding, uh... Wait. Am I missing something? I swear, if it's not like the uh, bookshelf. No, no, no. Is, wouldn't it be here? Maybe. No. No. Hey, the crafting recipe is correct. I know for a fact that this crafting recipe is correct. Hello? Wait, wait. Do I have to? No, it's not a crystal. Hold on. Y you, guide, pleb. Did you lie to me? <sighs> shut up! Just shut up! You don't you dare judge me! I was rushing, okay? Alright. <laughs> there! We can get a chick! And this is an even better yo-yo than what we have before. This one at Golly does 36, but this one normally does 46. Even though it has more critical strike chance, that's probably because it's, you know, godly. So what I need to do, I need to reforge this. And I, I, I did manage to scrape up some money while off camera. Yeah, 13 platinum. No. Keen. Oh, golly, there we go. Now it has the same critical strike chance as that, but 53 whopping damage. Yeah, this has more knockback. But this one, man, the damage on this, yes. We need that. So, hmm. What can I do? I definitely got... I, I gotta defeat these things, but... I just... wonder if I can just do it off camera. Because of the fact that it's going to waste less time on the episode. And... Yeah. There's specifically one item that I want from the light chests. And it's pretty cool. Probably one of the most helpful items that I can get. But... Actually... We can get something else. We can get something else which is really cool. We can get something else which is really cool. So what I need is a frick ton of arrows. We need uh, basically four stacks. So we have to go over here. Just buy a plug ton of arrows. 999. Now we need two more sets of 999, which costs a semi amount of bit of money. But if you're this far in the game, it barely should scrape your bank account. Scrape? Scrap? Scratch? I don't know. It should barely affect you, is what I'm trying to say. Now what you do, after you get all these arrows, you go over to a magic ball. And what this can make is an endless quiver. What this does is that it has infinite wooden arrows. So especially with the bee's knees, I can just shoot infinite bees from now on. Now, also, we can make something quite similar if we had a gun. We can go over here, we can buy musket balls and we have to basically do the same exact thing i'm not sure if they're more expensive no i think they're the same price as arrows to be honest so just like before shouldn't really leave a scrap in your bank account you know what? we're just going to keep that saying not going to leave a scrap in your bank account but what you need like the arrow you need four stacks of these so this equals to 309 no 3996 of what i remember you gotta admit for just memory alone that's the correct number. And for the second time, it actually wasn't bad, remembering. And we can go over here, we can make an endless musket pouch, which gives us infinite bullets. Now, the only downfall of this is that they're only the regular bullets and bows. Or bows, arrows. They're only regular. But that really still doesn't matter because that's still a neat upgrade when you're running out of your main arrows and you can use those as a backup for infinite, which honestly really helps. Absolutely helps. So what I think I'm going to do I am going to, I thought that was one that just spawned there for a second. I'm going to do, I'm going to spawn another one of these, specifically, light one, place the key inside of there, right in its little itty bitty tummy, and then just fight. With also, also all these spawn items, it makes it a lot easier to fight it. Oh my gosh, the damage. Oh my gosh, the, whoa, let's calm down now. You don't want to do that on me, or else you'd be in a pickle, I guess. Oh yeah, by the way, this master yo-yo gear helps. Because it summons a second yo-yo, it summons all these counterweights. No, you ain't gonna be pulling that on me. 
yeah, just try it. Try and leap at me. Try and leap it. Try and leap. You ain't. Because you're not going to reach me. Yeah? You want to do it again? You want to try and do another leap? I beg you to do another leap. Because I doubt it's going to do a single thing. I got minions all over you. I can even get some bees on you. Tons and tons of bees. Oh, I forgot he deflected them. <laughs> he deflects them when he's in his like, little standalone chest phase. Come on. Try and leap. Try and leap. Try and leap. Nah. Goodbye. Yep, trying to get me. Trying to get me. See ya. I thought that, that, I thought the chest had died there, but, oh, there we go. We got another aluminum hook. Okay. Most of these items are most likely going to be duplicates, but that's what we're going to expect. So, I'll be right back after I slay at least so many of these things. Okay, so I'm going to do freaking something insane for these last ones. I'm going to do all of these four at once. Call me crazy, or what? Am I going to die? Yep. Probably. Okay. Oh, this sucks. Terrible start already. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, this is not what I want to happen, but you know what? We have to roll with our decisions now. Oh, boy. I did... Okay, maybe I didn't take in consideration taking control of four different Hollow Mimics AI. Considering which ones are going to leap at me, which ones are going to just stay there, which ones are going to lag, and which ones are just going to be crazy. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm trying to do new things and make the series exciting. And it's kind of working. Maybe not what I thought, but... Hey. Eh. Eh. Okay, now down there... Oh, the far further away I get, the more leap-worthy they get. Ooh, this is dangerous. Okay, down there. Kind of good. 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 Stay focused. Stay focused. There is a frick ton of stuff that we got that I need to recap on, but I can't right now because we have so much going on right now. Okay, we're kind... I, I'm not I'm not even going to say anything because I don't want to jinx myself because I believe in that stuff. I believe in people saying that they're good and then immediately dying. I believe in it. I've seen it before firsthand and I believe in it. Even if it wasn't from me, I've seen it from others and it's not good. It's got to be the worst feeling in existence. Frick. Okay. They're all nearly down, which is great. I just got to be freaking careful. Put my Nimbuses back up. Or little thingamabobbers. Whatever they are. Little rain clouds. Okay. Oh, they're so close. Fall down. Into the lava. I can also heal again, so that's good. Thank the Lord for this, like, invincibility thing. That's one. That's two. Is the other one gone? Did I get rid of the other one? Maybe I just didn't hear it. think uh well uh what happened to the other one what the pleb hat did i miss something no that's three items oh no he died all right yeah i did this in the middle of the night so i got a ton of shackles too so for the light side we got a worm hook which is basically the same thing as the illuminate hook uh clinger's bath a unpleasant chain guillotine, or just a chain guillotine, which does this, which I think is pretty cool, which is good for chain combos. And that's really just about it. Oh, no, wait, we also got a dart rifle, which we can't fire because we don't have dart bullets. And on the other side, we have the weapon that I want the most, the Daedalus Stormbow. The flying knife, which, you know, you know, it's cool. The crystal vial shard, which is ba basically the Valet Thorn, but faster and stronger, and uh, more aluminum hooks. But there's a reason why I wanted this Daedalus Stormbow. Because look what it does. Look at this. Look at this. Look how much power. That's so cool. And combining it with a couple different variants of arrows. It's like game over. Like game over for any of the enemies. Now, there's, now since it's arriving in night soon. There is a reason why I need this. But I got to prepare. Because we're actually going to take down our first boss in this region. And I think I have an idea on how to do it. Because it's actually quite simple. I just need better... You know, just a better thing on that. I'm going to sell all these shackles because I really have no use for them. 
So bam, 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 bam. Uh, flying knife, yeah. Uh, put you in there. And now, I need to go over here, quickly. And I just got a platinum from that. Dear lord. More than that, actually, because I stored it in the bank. Deadly? Maybe. Maybe. You know what, fine, we'll roll with it. Alright, now, I know we have this endless quiver, but I need to check something. We can make... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Not Frostburn. Are we on it? No, that's Hellfair. Fair. Venom? No. Holy, holy. Yeah, holy. We need three pixie dust and one unicorn horn. So let's buy a couple arrows because I actually have some of those supplies from, you know, farming in the hollow for so long. I don't need your torch. So let's just buy a pleb ton of these. Arrows, 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 arrows. And then more arrows, 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 arrows. There we go. I think I'll buy one more stack just in case. Maybe I don't have enough. Maybe I, don't, I mean, I was just saying, not I don't have enough money. I'm just saying maybe I don't have enough supplies to make it. But I'm just saying also in the hollow chest, I have a, so much pixie dust. And also I have some unicorn horns. So I'm pretty sure I can craft these. Where can I craft these? Is that the anvils? Yes, I can. Some of those. Perfect. Okay. So, store these above this. Uh, I don't know which, how item management works in this. What arrows are used first. Uh, okay, we'll just rock with this for now. For now. Uh... Yeah, there. All right. Uh, we have our deadly storm bow, which we can easily replace the bee's knee with. Even though it's unreal, we can get a better reforge on that. But still, next I need to go over here. Uh, get some potions, iron skin. Can't forget about being well fed. Regen, swiftness, endurance, wrath, and ranger archery, archery. Is there anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Mm, I don't think so. Call me? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, also, retake on all this. I think we'll be set up. Now, let's take one of these. Or at least two of them, at least. Store our money in this bunk. Revert one of these to the platinum, just because. Nice and tidy. Get over to the plumbing battlefield. I don't. I think we have everything that we need to have. So, I'm going to fly over to this little arena. It's about to turn nighttime in like 10 seconds. And now, pleb, set this up. Set this up and this. Is it night? Yes, it is. Now, summon the mechanical worm, the destroyer. Oh, pleb! Holy arrows go! Okay, so what this does is basically, whenever an arrow hits an enemy, it makes it so that it rains stars upon uh, all these enemies as well. So it's just raining everywhere. So now, what's happening is that it's- Oh yeah, he can fire lasers too. He's a giant worm that fires lasers. But I'm hitting so many parts of his body that it's insane. And these little drones that are just popping out. Look how much- Look how much HP he's at! Look at this! Oh my frick- this is just embarrassing! This is embarrassing for him! I thought I had to be so much more prep- I didn't even use my potions, I have so many hearts down there! He- he gone. He's defeated. He's- Uh. Alright, so I thought that was gonna be way harder of a fight. Where did his loot end up? I couldn't tell you. No, he drops a treasure bag somewhere, right? Where did his treasure bag drop? Uh... It's somewhere. I couldn't tell you where, though. So, wait, did I fully zoom out all the way? No, yes, I did. I... Yeah, that was, uh... That was, that was a battle. 
That was exciting, at least I could say that. That didn't even take much of my time at all. Is it under here? Where did this... Ch He's supposed to have a trick. Oh no, I picked it up. Okay. Cool. Well, plug to the potions. Let's fight him again. Boop. All right. Come on. Come on, buddy. I dare you to charge up at me. There you go. There we go. Destroy your droids. Because they're just raining down upon me. There we go. Okay, maybe I'm being a bit too... Being a bit more cocky, I guess, this time. Because I'm taking a lot more damage. Well, granted... He... Oh, I don't know. Granted, I was in a place where his head couldn't hit me. Because I'm pretty sure his head does the most damage. So, just avoid him, really. And you should be all good. But still, the damage. And I can still heal. Oh, yeah, and also I got the invincibility. So, I can just go down here, slickfully, pick up them hearts, and just win. He's going to charge back up. Owie. His head hurts. I'm just going to heal just in case. Because you can never be too sure. Just look at this. Look at this. What do I even need to say? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was the best thing. That was actually the best thing I think I've ever done this game. I'm keeping this storm bow. I thought I needed so much more. Jeez, I thought I only used like 200. That's like 100 per destroyer. Okay, so when you open this up, you get hollowed bars and also souls of might. So we got two of those and also get a mechanical wagon piece. Those are going to be interesting to use later. So what can I do with these? Maybe I can tell you in the next episode. Who knows? But you know what? If I can do that, I have confidence for what I can do. That's why I needed this bow. I didn't really need much of the, any of the other loot. I just needed this bow. It was the most insane thing that I needed. It's one of the best bows you can get, basically. So. I'll just actually show you what you can do with the Souls of Might now. So, if you put this in here, you can make these special emblems. If you get one of the, you know, any of the 12 emblems that basically, if you don't know... You just need all the emblems. These emblems drop from the wall of flesh, fun fact. You can also make a mega shark, which is a great, freaking great weapon. And we can, I think we can actually make that. Oh, we can also make a pickaxe saw, but we need all the other souls. So if we go over here, in fact, I think I'm going to make that right now. We can replace our B gun. So if I go over here, did I, did I? Can I even get the illegal gun parts from him? I have three. That's perfect. All right, so what I need, I need to buy the mini shark off him because I don't think I even have that yet because I'm not keen to guns. And this boy's OP too. Trust me. Oh, you can even buy him. I'm going to just buy uh, three spare just in case. There you go. Now I'm going to enter back in here. Put those back in there. How does Star get in the house? Or maybe that's from up there. I'm not sure. But before I do anything, I'm just going to store these potions back up because I guess I don't need them for now. Uh, there it is. By there, I mean here. I guess I'll eat that. And also, why do I have 13 copper? Or maybe, like, it's a random mob drop. I don't know. But, hey. Still works. Man, there's a, I swear, all these, like, useless things that I don't need, I can, I can just... There. There you go. Take them. And now I just need the five shark fins. And I'm pretty sure I got I can get those somewhere. Oh wait, wait, wait it's in the this chest. Uh, there it is. And we can go over here, go to the sandville, and oh, we can make armor too. But we don't have enough. Definitely not enough. We can make an Excalibur though. Oh, the opportunities. But we can make a Mega Shark. And this boy is it powerful. And also, that means what? Well, with the hollow bars, I can make this Excalibur, and it's pointy. Plus 11 damage, which is finally a weapon that I can replace this Arcalis with, because it's actually pretty powerful. So, I can finally put this boy to rest. Uh, where, where did you go, Gar? There you go. Uh, I, get, I guess I really don't need the staff. I can put the bee's knees back, and I can put this bee gun back, since I also have another shooty weapon. Even though the bee's knees is for magic, but it's different. Maybe I'll find a different magic weapon in the future, but who knows. Anyway, I could store this, store this, and keep these arrows. 
never know why I need keep store those in there and also last thing I want to do I want to give this new fresh mini shark a good old not a mini shark definitely not mega shark a nice fresh reforge it is pricey though not an awkward one not a broken one strong maybe godly I'm gonna test my luck because I got a bunch of money Okay, if it gets below 10 platinum, then maybe I'll stop. That's strong. I think I had my best chance with Gavi, but I was just hoping for maybe an unreal one. This gate. <gasps> there we go. Unreal. Mega Shark. It only took me three platinum or four platinum coins. But this is the best. This is the best. This is the best, 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 best. I can end the episode now because I think I'm going slowly insane. We just got a good old amount of weapon upgrades. If you enjoyed this episode of Terraria, then please be sure to leave a like on this video and also share it with your friends if you like Terraria content. And if you like my content, then, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't yet or you're looking forward to, hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all of my notifications on this YouTube channel in the near future. But above all else, I will see you in the next video. Hail the hype news.